So we got the we got the IRS withholding tax refund payments, uh, returns, uh, people's money. Reports coming in that people are saying that their money, their refund are being processed and essentially their funds are frozen with the IRS. And we would think that with 80,000, 80 some odd thousand new IRS agents, that they would have no issue processing these tax returns and getting people their money, essentially being trapped in the clutches of the IRS with the silver lining of your earning interest on your, on your tax dollars that you've overpaid to the IRS, which is why I told you guys, I prefer to pay my own taxes afterwards instead of beforehand with also adding that we're having reports of uh, police robots, deadly robots roaming the streets that are being uh, uh, promoted and pushed by certain political parties, folks. Uh, <laughs> crazy times. We also have the uh, Delta contract with airlines and pilots, Delta contract with United Airlines, folks. Crazy stuff. As well as these rich folks out here in power thinking that they can throw their weight around and get whatever they want and do whatever they want break the laws not only be found guilty in a court of law but then justify their excuses and reasoning behind why they shouldn't or ultimately will not go to jail and meanwhile jp morgan chase ceo jamie Dimon warns that this recession is going to be quite a hurricane and inflation is literally preparing to wipe out those who are not prepared. Check this out. Diamond warns inflation could drag us into recession next year. It could be a hurricane. JP Morgan CEO warns inflation eroding American savings likely to cause a downturn. Now, these are things that we have already been talking about in the past. And if you haven't been paying attention or are, are new subscribers to the channel, uh, go ahead and check out previous videos where we discuss saving money, budgeting better, and trying to find ways to increase your income so that you aren't victim to this inflation uh, hurricane that Jamie Dimon is warning us about. That's warning is coming. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon on Tuesday warned that stubbornly high inflation could trigger a U.S economic recession next year as steep prices cause consumer spending to dry up. Uh, businesses are still in good shape and consumer spending remains strong with households hoarding $1.5 trillion in excess savings from pandemic relief programs. And uh, But he, D Jamie Dimon has warned that that may not last long. He says here that inflation is eroding. And, I, and you know, it says, he says inflation is eroding everything. And I just said that the $1.5 trillion will run out sometime mid next year. Diamond said during an interview on CNBC, when you're looking at that forward, those things uh, very well may derail the economy and cause this mild to severe recession that people are worried about. Uh, and this is the head of the largest bank in the U.S. first sounded the alarm over the state of the economy in early May, citing concerns over inflationary pressures, a hawkish Federal Reserve and the war in Ukraine. He ratcheted up those warnings in June when he said the U.S. was headed for an economic hurricane as a result of the Fed's quantitative tightening and the first European war in decades. And this kind of aligns with what Jeff Bezos, uh, founder of Amazon, was stating. He, he urges folks to uh, pull back on their spending and save money as we are headed into this recession, possibly a deep recession that I believe that we are actually already in a recession. And, the, you know, for folks out there looking for some money to help them, uh, you know, weather this storm, this hurricane, still reports here, Fox Business says, still missing your tax refund? The IRS will soon pay you 7% interest. Now, folks, uh, it almost seems as though people have been asking me, Kevin, the IRS is holding my money. They won't give it back. What can I do? What is happening? You know, it seems like my funds are frozen. You know, this is worse than the banks not allowing me to have access to my own money. And, you know, I hate it. But, you know, this is the problem with W-2 uh, employment is that typically you overpay the IRS for your income taxes and then you uh, have to beg and plead and wait for a tax refund. And uh, ultimately, you know, they, they kind of got you where they want you at that point. Now, granted, they'll pay you the 7% interest, which is actually kind of high in comparison to what other uh, uh, savings platforms could provide like a 
high yield or high interest savings accounts. So 7% is actually a pretty good return. But I know a lot of folks out there who do bank and count on tax refunds uh, need that money probably more so than they need the uh, 7% interest. Um, at the same time, this ties into a previous video where I, I posted that a C my CPA had called me and was warning me that, you know, hey, time is approaching, need to be preparing for 2022 tax return season, get ahead of the curve. And that's probably going to be helpful to a lot of people for 2022 when they file their 2022 taxes in 2023 the sooner you can do it the better and hopefully maybe these 80 plus thousand new irs these these armed irs agents can get you your money faster uh than getting uh when waiting until april 15th to file and then having to wait for them to be processed and march 15th for the businesses out there if you're doing business tax returns march 15th is going to be your deadline um but you know since the irs says interest payments on late tax refunds will climb to seven percent in january so that here says it, the interest payments will climb to seven percent in january which is basically saying don't hold your breath because you're not getting your money in december um Millions of Americans are still awaiting their tax refund from the IRS, but there is a silver lining, they say. The money may be accruing interest and rates are poised to jump in January. You know, it's funny. They'll penalize you, but, you know, they, they just hold yours and give you the 7%. And it says they may, it may uh, accrue interest, may. That's the key word right there, if you guys can see that. The IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, generally pays interest on refunds that are delayed by more than 45 days after the filing deadline. And interest rates are adjusted every quarter depending on the federal short-term rate. So the more that Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve hike the rates, the more that you could possibly see on the tax return money that you've been waiting on to get back from the IRS in the form of interest being paid back to you. It says as of mid-November, the IRS had, a, had to process about 3.7 million individual tax returns received this year, including 1.7 million returns requiring error correction or other special handling, and an additional 2 million that are paper returns waiting to be reviewed and processed. Uh, I know um, everything's going digital, and I would probably want to do the same with my taxes. I don't think I would be doing paper tax returns if I wanted any sort of speed and in accuracy as far as getting my money back. It says here that still there's a downside, which is what the interest paid by the IRS is taxable. So they'll pay you 7%, but they're going to tax you on that money because they're going to count it as income. The IRS interest payments surged 33% in the fiscal year 2021 with tax collecting agency paying out nearly $3.3 billion for individual returns, the U.S. Government Accountability Office reported. So in my opinion, I'm going to be continuing looking for ways to pay my taxes due instead of waiting to get a refund, uh, especially with the uh, tax uh, surge. Uh, and obviously, there's not going to be enough volume, nor are they in any urgency to give you your money back. Although more than 90% of taxpayers submitted their returns electron electronically last year, at the request of the IRS, some 17 million sent paper filings, exacerbating the pileup of returns. It is disproportionately older Americans who file their returns via mail. And perhaps maybe those are the folks who are still waiting to receive their refund. Maybe it's just the paper filers. I'm not 100% sure. But if you are, uh, comment down below, let me know. And uh, let me know if uh, you're if you're waiting for your refund, and if so, were you a paper filer or an e-filer? The IRS has laid out a goal to reach healthy levels of, of inventory by the end of 2022. Taxpayers typically receive a refund if they had too much money withheld and overpaid their taxes the previous year. For many families, the money can be substantial. Nearly three quarters of filers receive a tax refund in 2022, with an average payment worth about. $3,176, which is up from about $2,800 last year. And, you know, folks out there asking me, hey, what are ways that I can earn a, a cash-based business that won't be reported because I don't want to have it interrupt any of my other income streams? Well, folks, come on over to the network. Let's have that discussion and conversation so we can discuss the uh, cash-based businesses out there that won't necessarily be reported and uh, some of the ways that you can uh, position yourself and strategize to uh, increase your income. United Airlines CEO says proposed Delta contract could set benchmark for other carriers. American and United Airlines pilot unions rejected proposed deals in November 
And United Airlines CEO Scott Kirby said the tentative contract between competitor Delta Airlines and its pilots will help all major carriers, quote unquote, get deals done on the same terms. On Friday, Delta offered its pilots represented by the Airline Pilots Association, the ALPA, and who vowed to strike if a new deal isn't ratified. A 34% cumulative pay increase over three years, including an immediate raise of at least 18% on the date the contract is signed. Uh, The deal hasn't been approved by the union yet, but if it is, the contract could set the standard for competing carriers who are also in the midst of contract negotiation with their pilot uh, unions. So we just kind of got out of or... I can't even say that we're really wrapping up the railroad workers union strike uh, because I don't think that that I mean, granted, you know, President Biden did sign into law preventing them the uh, option of even going on strike. But I think that one is far from being over. And here we are now rolling into the airlines and Delta and United Airlines and uh, the pilots threatening to go on strike, which may not have as much of an impact on a lot of the freight that's moved uh, in through air as composed uh, compared to rail freight, especially with the hazardous freight and chemicals and waste and, 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 and everything that goes on rail. Um, But, you know, seeing air travel or air cargo freight go down and air passenger travel go down uh, would definitely have an impact on our economy. Meanwhile, San Francisco police may deploy robots as deadly force option. Can you believe this? Board previously voted on the policy in late November, and it says that San Francisco Board of Supervisors is slated to put a proposal policy that would permit police officers to use robots in certain, quote unquote, extreme emergency scenarios as a deadly force option to a uh, second vote here. And uh, the vote is scheduled for Tuesday, uh, which was uh, which is today. And when the 11 or when I recorded this Tuesday, the 6th and when the 11 person panel must vote on a policy that would allow the San Francisco Police Department to use robots as a deadly force option in instances where risk of loss of life to members of the public or officers is imminent and officers cannot subdue the threat after using alternative force options or de-escalation tactics or conclude that they will not be able to subdue the threat after evaluating alternate alternative force options and de-escalation tactics. I don't know about you, but if I'm in a situation where uh, I need a, a de-escalation tactic to prevent loss of life, I want somebody coming in there, kicking the door down, and making sure that that threat is handled, not some robot coming in there. Uh, you know, here you see this looks like a police officer uh, driving this robot down the street, maybe. Perhaps maybe they're going to have to come up with a wireless option so that it can actually be an effective option to protect life. But, uh, you know, deadly robots roaming the streets could be in our future. Elizabeth Holmes asked to remain out of prison pending appeal cites pregnancy. The disgraced uh, Theranos founder is slated to self-surrender in April for her 11 and uh, 11.25 year sentence, but you know, with her high level of uh, income and uh, net worth, or at least what she had, you know, she appears to be using this uh, pregnancy card to possibly get out of some uh, jail time that she has earned for her business practices. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Holmes has requested that a federal judge allow her to remain out of prison while she appeals her federal fraud convictions, arguing it in part that she is not a flight risk due to her close family ties and pregnancy. Nice call there, lady. Uh, attorney for the disgraced Theranos founder filed a motion for release pending an appeal Monday night, arguing her case satisfies satisfies the statutory requirements for the request to be granted. Those conditions are that the defendant must not be a flight risk. The purpose of the appeal is not to delay, and the appeal will present several substantial uh, uh Questions. The defense team wrote to the U.S. District Judge Edward Davila, which, you know, ultimately it's like, you know, if you and I, if we were sentenced, we're going to jail. Here we go. Theranos uh, found guilty and, you know, says, you know what, I'm going to appeal this. I got lawyers. I got a team of lawyers. I got a bunch of money, you know, uh, and, you know, I don't really want to go to jail. So I, I, I think I'm pregnant. So, you know, what do you guys think? You think this is fair? Um, but either way, we still got a lot that's going on here. And if you are out there looking for ways, if you're not even banking on an IRS tax free refund coming in, but you do need some of that extra money, come on over to join the network. We're over here trying to get them dollars. We're working together to uh, make sure that that happens 
and producing um, multiple diverse income streams, ultimately passive income streams, side hustles, building businesses, making money, securing our financial future, and uh, building wealth. But if you guys are interested, come on over. All right, folks, so this is some really uh, unbelievable yet really important news that we need to be paying attention to, okay? Do not let this, uh, do not let these warnings go ignored because we are being warned by the uh, multiple sources, folks. Now, granted, some of these folks have their own agendas, but at the end of the day, we have to look out for ourselves. We have to look out for our families. We gotta look out for our communities and we can do that by taking this information that's being provided to us and putting it to use in our preparation. And all signs point to we need to be preparing financially because if it's not the inflation, if it's not the recession, if it's not the IRS, if it's not the banks that we can't trust either, uh, ultimately there will be something out there, a force, a driving force that is coming after your money, your savings, your retirement, your credit, your assets, your equity, your investments, if you have any folks, we need to be prepared, we need to be diligent. And if you're saying to yourself, well, Kevin, I don't have any of those. Well, then we need to make sure that we're doing the things that we need to in order to get them. So if you guys want to, links in the description, you're more than welcome to join the group. Welcome to the network, we'd love to have you. Uh, until next time, folks, take care. See ya, bye.